Okay, so once again, um, now we have an expression here, which is very which is basically the same as what we want to evaluate. We want to evaluate the sum to find the average energy per mode, um, and the way that we do this again, we we have to evaluate the sum. And now we've basically used this geometric series result, which we showed up here. We've taken the, the uh, we've differentiated with respect to Q and then we've multiplied that by Q so that um, Q times Q to the I minus 1 is just Q to the I and that now is basically this is uh, the same expression essentially that we have here and now we have a result so all we have to do now is plug in Q which is E to the minus H nu over KT uh, for Q into this expression and that'll give us this sum we multiply this part of it and we should have our expression for the average energy uh, per mode. Okay, so here I've written that down. Again, I'm just plugging in for um, plugging in for Q now. Okay, Q is e to the minus uh, h nu over kt. Okay, and so we get this prefactor out here which we'd factor out of the sum before and now we get this uh, e to the minus uh, h nu and this of course is just Q divided by 1 minus e to the minus h nu over kt squared and this is just 1 minus q squared as we wrote down right here okay so now we can simplify this further in particular we notice that this this term is the same as this term here so we can cancel that term and one of those okay and uh, and then that gives us um, h nu uh, times e to the minus h nu over kt divided by 1 minus e to the minus h nu over kt okay <clears throat> and now what we can also do is just divide through um, by uh, And oh well, the, something important here. Uh, we can we can try to get this in terms of this is actually a, a complete expression, but we can also write it in terms of, of wavelength, just in case we want to use it that way. So let's do that. So that's nu is c over lambda. So we can just h c over lambda um, times e to the minus h c over lambda k t and then divide the whole thing by 1 minus e to the minus hc divided by lambda kt. Okay, So that's our final expression for the average energy per unit um, wavelength. I mean the average energy uh, uh, for any for any mode uh, in the cavity. Okay, When you basically use Planck's assumption, Planck's hypothesis, that the energy comes in chunks that are multiples of some fundamental energy unit h nu. Okay, so now what we want to do is again I'm going back to the beginning here. What we want is to is to express the power rated per unit area per unit wavelengths so that we can basically get uh, try to uh, compare this model with the actual observed spectrum. Um, and uh, so this is the expression that Rayleigh and Jeans. Um, uh, derived and of course I mean as I said before they, they did the right thing they what they didn't do right or what they didn't know was just that uh, they were assuming that the average energy per unit uh, the average energy for each mode was just KT okay so this this um, this part of the expression was just the average energy per mode okay and they assumed it was equal for each mode and equal to KT and um, okay so that's that's uh, that's expressed right there, and now um, we've just we've just basically written down an expression for the average energy for each uh, four mode, and we see that it doesn't it's not uniform. It depends on the wavelength. Okay, so it depends on the energy of the mode. It depends on the frequency of the mode. And so now, if we plug this into the rayleigh genes law, basically, um, if we replace kT with this expression, then we get the Planck expression. All right, and we'll do that. Um, on the next clip.